Hi, I'm Dr. David Farley. I'm a breast surgeon at the Mayo Clinic, and today I'm speaking with Dr. Don Wynn, one of my colleagues in plastic surgery. Don, we have a patient that's fit and healthy, breast cancer, we're gonna remove that. The question now becomes reconstructive surgery. I have two questions for you. The first, should she have an immediate reconstructive operation or a delayed operation? That's a great question. Um, I would say a lot of patients do immediate reconstruction, which means she starts the reconstructive process at the same time as the mastectomy, uh, which you do. Um, and for most patients, that's a great option. The patients that can't have immediate reconstruction would be someone who's sick, uh, whether they're actively smoking because there's higher complication rates when patients do reconstruction with a smoker, or they're just too ill from the cancer that it's not a good idea to start the reconstruction at that point in time. But we can always come back and do it in a delayed fashion, meaning the mastectomy's done, and then they've healed and they come back to do the reconstruction. Okay. So f most ladies will have immediate reconstruction. Mm -hmm. My second question then becomes, do you use the woman's own tissue to reconstruct the breast or do you use an implant? Both options are usually open for most patients. Um, sometimes a woman doesn't have enough of her own tissue, so then she's not a good candidate for using her own tissue. The most common place we take is the abdomen or the belly, and some women are just too thin. Um, Implants are also an extremely popular uh, option. Most women in the United States actually choose an implant. And the main reason for choosing an implant is it's a shorter recovery, um, shorter surgery. They can get back to their life faster. But you have to know that most likely you're going to need surgeries down the road to replace the implant because they have their own lifespan and it's not necessarily your lifespan. Um, versus your own tissue, then it once it's healed, it's it's you. You don't necessarily need to replace it ever. Is there anything special about the care at Mayo why a woman should be here having surgery? With I think the most amazing thing about Mayo and the care that we provide for the breast cancer patient is the coordination of care. You know, we have monthly meetings with all the team members discussing how can we make the care better. Um, patients come in and they just sometimes can be overwhelmed because they're seeing, you know, doctor after doctor trying to make a decision about their breast cancer uh, treatment. And we all put our heads together to discuss what's the best option for the patient. I personally really enjoy the uh, interactions I have with you and your colleagues. You know, we work really well together, always trying to come up with a best plan for a patient. Um, so if I were a patient, I would want that. Um, and then in terms of various reconstructive options, we do a lot of prepectoral implant reconstruction here where you're putting the implant um, on top of the muscle, which is a, uh, less painful for most patients. So that's one thing. And then um, we offer everything. So you, you can do one-stop shopping if you come to Mayo Clinic. And that's important because there's so many variables and so many decisions. Thank you for your insight. You're welcome. It's my pleasure.